long to put them in. So here we have snap bar. Lightweight plastic. Ships super lightweight to ship, but does the job. I need approximately 20 rebars to do hook bars to do this shop garage. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. So here's how they work. A hook bar on a bench or a form or anything. Pop on the snap bar. Give it one little tap. One little tap. You'll notice the rebar is ribbed, so these work the best snapping them on with the rib instead of against the rib. You can hammer them on, you can tap them on, they go on pretty easy. But they're all secure. So I make up all these on a table or the tailgate of your truck. It takes about five minutes for 20 of them. That way you're not working in the mud or the dirt. You notice when we get this foundation done, there's no tie wire anywhere. Eliminated all tie wire. Okay, now we're going to take our hook bar. We're going to lay them out on top of the form approximately where we want them. My code here is four foot on center. I'm going to go a little less and just spread them out three to four feet, four foot max. The code is also alternating hook bars. And you will see how to alternate Okay, now we're going to install the hooks. Come on up for a close-up, I'll show you how it's done. I have a little tab on here. One tab is sideways, one tab straight down. When you have a lap, you're gonna hook the outer lap first, click it on, then you can set the other tab straight down. Then you can alternate your hook either way you want. Pull it up tight, and there's your hook bar. Securely in for the pour. They flex a little bit when you hit it with a concrete pump, but they stay right in place. So now we're gonna go along and see how long it takes to install all your hooks to code in this form. Now these can go on the sideways this way and click down over here. If you don't have a lap, they'll go on either way. It's easier for me to pull it tight, so I'm going that direction. That is the slickest thing since tie wire. Okay, here's a lap. Long on one side, short on the other. So you have two bars on one one bar on the opposite so now you have to use the lap side click that in first then the downside on the opposite take a close-up of that and you'll see it's not interfering with the lap at all and that was kind of a nice design
man, you can get really fast at it. If you want to get moving, you can get really good at it after a few trials. Here's another double lap, so I have to do the double side first, then the single. Opposite lap. Gotta do the outside first. And the single. And the spin. If you have a double lap, and that's the only way you could get it, I do one side and then I snap the other in between the lap. Still meets code. You can have a little space between the bars. I just tighten the peg on the grab bar and you're fine. Two more to go and we are ready to pour. Without using a truckload of lumber. Here's another real nice thing about using this whole system. I'm ready to pour right now. Shop is done. It's all to code. Hook bar is hung. Inspector loves it. Take a video down the rebar and look how straight over here on this side. Look how straight the rebar is when you get done. And the hooks, everything's secure in place. Now, the wonderful thing is I have no lumber. The old fashioned way to hang hooks is you have rebar tied on, tied across, angle braces holding it from falling over. It wants to flop each way. Two by fours, every direction. Look far, I'm working pretty good. stand up real nice. <laughs> Even when it's a whisker dam. You'd rather pour it about like this and pick a little up than pour it too stiff. That is just right.
get it sticking out of your way so I'm not on the shelf. It's going to go pretty quick. I think it's starting to set up already. The long trip from out there at Bomac. Is that where the mud came from? I yeah, it's out of the Bomac plant because that's little Brian there. So. 